Our next guest uh, works for KPFA Radio, and she has a website that's all about Oakland. She's even included some of our Bay Sunday segments on her website. Thank you very much. To tell us about her work, please welcome from Oakland Scene, and that's Scene, S-E-E-N dot com, right. uh -huh. Amy Allison. And you said you did that on purpose. Mm -hmm. You did Scene, S-E-E-N. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, look, Oakland is a scene. It's a place to be seen and uh, it's a place that uh, you'll find the diversity and the creativity that is really unique in the Bay Area and the country but it's also a, a city that gets a bad rap. I mean, you work in media. You know the stories about Oakland. There are a lot of bad stories. <laughs> Oakland's a story is a, is a city about crime, but that's not really. Not only is it not the full story, but it's not really even the true story. Hmm. So when you when you see the amazing people, organizations, and art that's happening in this the largest city in the East Bay, all of a sudden, the city gets seen in a whole new way, and that's the goal of OaklandScene.com. So I have a question: Do people who live in Oakland? even know what Oakland has to offer? Do they even know the things you found out? You know, I think that uh, that's part of our challenge is to, uh, you know, people who live in Oakland feel a sort of patriotism. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, there, there, there's a reason that, uh, for example, the, uh, the, the, the Raiders fans are so, you know, gung-ho, because people who are, who are mm -hmm. from Oakland know why Oakland is special. It's like uh, a diverse, energetic, engaged, place that no one's been to so that we attract a lot of people. Uh, for example, there's a contingent from Brooklyn. A lot of people in Brooklyn, Living they know Oakland. what it is to grow up in the shadow of another big city, a great city like San Francisco, Oakland is there, but we've got good weather and all of that. So people who live in Oakland know why it's great, but the thing is they don't know facts like this. Oakland is the home to the largest working artist space in the world. In the world, so uh, a group of artists came uh, together and they converted an old steel factory, American Steel Factory in West Oakland, mm -hmm. into the space where artists can come and and you know do their metalworking or do their sculptures, pottery, painting, all together. In the whole world, we have the most square footage. That's something that. Oakland residents and the nation should celebrate. Uh, well, I didn't know that um, either. I had no idea. And you mentioned something else. Oakland has the largest lesbian population. Yep, per capita. So people think of, when you think of sort of gay capital, mm -hmm. they think of San Francisco. Uh, but that's the men. But in Oakland, women have kids. It's always been that dynamic. Mm -hmm. And the women and, and the kids, they found affordable spaces in the neighborhoods throughout Oakland. And so we have that distinction. And as a result, there are so many artistic and cultural and also uh, you know, clubs and, and nightlife that come out of having a concentration of the lesbian population, not to mention a lot of political and other kinds of leaders that are based in Oakland that have a, a role, let's say, in a, and something to say about the, the Prop 8 debate. Mm -hmm. Now, I will tell you, your energy is palpable. Like, I, I love are, the city. No, I can tell. Like, you, know? you, you got me thinking maybe I need to be looking in Oakland. Yeah, you know, because <laughs> here, here's, the th here's the thing people don't know about the city, or it's been a, a best kept secret, is the diversity and the engagement. Um, and it's kind of like a small town, I have to admit, because there are so many different neighborhoods. Uh -huh. So Jack London Square is built up and kind of fresh, but the history of Oakland is very, very deep. So you have places like the Fruitvale where you can still uh, get some, you know, handmade uh, 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 Mexican uh, pastries. You can go uh, to deep East Oakland where uh, there are beautiful parks. There's just so many treasures right in the city, along with the kind of cultural expressions that uh, we're at a place in this city where we have a combination of that history in those neighborhoods and the new residents in the uptown area, which is kind of a restaurant nightlife thing that's relatively new. And it makes it a very exciting nexus. In fact, San Francisco people are going like, you know what, the mission is dead on Friday night. Let's head over to uptown in Oakland. Wow. So if people have things they want to share with you, maybe um, give you some information about things you don't know, they can go to your website. And is that where they tell the story or they call you and give you the information? So, so Oakland Scene's interesting because it's, it's about people, politics, and life. So we're interested in videos and people's first-person stories. We publish them on a blog and we share them on a social network and on Twitter. Right now we have over 5,000 people who are actively engaged and learning and talking to each other. Wow. That's the goal. 
That's a gold Oakland scene. It's well, exciting. It sounds like you've done an amazing job so far. So much continued success to you in Oakland scene. Thank you. We're very committed to changing that story about Oakland to the whole country. Well, you've changed it to me. I, you know, <laughs> you hear so many things about it. It's good to hear nothing but a positive perspective. Thank you. So thank you. Thanks, Amy. For more information about Oakland scene, that's S E E N dot com. You can log on to CBS five dot com slash base Sunday. Then click on show information. Then click on Oakland scene dot com. We'll be back with more after this break. Welcome back. Our next guest works for the